Hi Facebook world, it's Karina here. I'm sitting in my kitchen and tonight, guess what? I'm not cooking. Ah! Right? Crazy, crazy idea going on in my house for me to not be cooking. But um, I just wanted to give you a rundown. I've had a really crazy busy week. I feel like tonight's Wednesday. Uh, it's Wednesday. I've just been running. I think it's Wednesday. Yeah, it's Wednesday. Uh, that's the kind of week I've had. Uh, I've been running like crazy. I spent, I got up at six o'clock this, no, at 5.45 this morning and I've been on the go. I've been up at like 5.30, 5.45 every day this week, really trying to get stuff done um, in the morning before the kids get up. And, you know, I've been going until like 11, 11.30 at night. And tonight I didn't have time to cook supper. I was in the city all day. We've got a wedding coming up um, for a family member and so we had to do a little bit of shopping, a little bit of an ex exchange of stuff. And um, hi everybody that's signing on, it's nice to see you. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Uh, that would be great, that way I can know that I'm not talking to myself and you know. Um, but anyway, so I wanted to show you that it is possible to eat well and deal with uh, a busy life and you know sometimes there are those days that just run away from you and you don't have a time don't have a chance to actually cook a meal and today is one of those times oh thanks i can see that elena can hear me at least <laughs> um after being away in the city all day from like early morning to just now like i literally just walked in the door um i have to turn around a quick supper for my kids and run off to a parent council meeting tonight because, you know, I don't have enough on my plate, but it's always so much fun to be involved with my kids. It's something I love, so it's important to me. But anyway, sidetracked. I didn't want to sacrifice by, you know, picking up a pizza tonight and or, you know, going to a fast food restaurant. So I thought I'm going to run to the grocery store and I'm going to show you what I do sometimes every once in a while in a pinch. Um, and still help myself and my family stay on track and not have a completely kibosh dinner that still actually tastes pretty good. Um, it's super simple. That's the trick. You want to keep things simple. Don't overcomplicate things. Um, and you know, you can stay on track. No problem. One of my favorite things that grocery stores actually do, they roast chickens for you. And if you take a look, they're just uh, rotisserie chickens they might have a little bit of seasoning on them not a whole lot they're not oily they're not disgusting they're actually quite moist and tender and they have them hot and ready so today actually they had a buy one get one 50 percent off at the grocery store so i bought two i will probably get a couple of meals out of these things because i will they'll will eat the meat tonight and i'll carve the meat off and i'll save the meat and stick the carcasses in the freezer i can make some soup from that so on a day when I do have a little bit more time, um, I've got a couple of roasted chicken carcasses ready to go in the freezer, and I can just pop them out and you know stick them in a stock pot. But anyway, so tonight I will be making, making I will be serving roast chicken, and uh, alongside that, you know I like to keep things really really simple. So I just bought a pre-mixed salad. This one is uh, a Caesar mix, but you can get, they've got Greek ones, they've got garden salad mixes. You just mix it up. Um, they come with these packets of dressings. Now, they're not always horrible. They're not always terrific. So it's important that if you get these packets, you're going to read on the back of them. Um, this one, I mean, you, you get them for free. This one's not horrible, but it still has some additives that I'm not all that keen on serving. So I just, just for the purposes of this video, I wanted to show you that, you know, things like, um, I mean, they're low down on the ingredients list, sugar, um, flavor, xanthan gum, those sorts of things. I don't like to eat very often unless I absolutely have to and I try not to. Um, but I pick them up anyway and, you know, maybe my husband will want to throw it on or whatever, but I'll probably just end up um, composting these but what I do I wanted to show you is that I often keep my own little salad dressing I'll, I'll whip up a big batch in a mason jar and I just make my own little salad dressing uh, there's some fantastic clean eating recipes that I have found online some of them in um, the uh, cookbook that I use that's a clean eating cookbook um, I can let you know if you're interested in it. I can let you know what it is and how to get your hands on it but um, some of the most delicious salad dressings I found actually don't have any preservatives in them at all. 
This one is a really simple one. I just used um, a really nice balsamic vinegar, a little bit of olive oil, some mustard, like uh, Dijon mustard, and a little bit of maple syrup. And I just, because the, the balsamic vinegar is actually really sweet, you don't need a lot of maple syrup, but I just I just keep it on hand. Like I just put it, I'll put all the ingredients in a mason jar and I shake it up. And it lasts actually for a really long time. Super easy to make, super easy to keep, and it goes on pretty much any kind of salad that you want. So I'm gonna actually put this on my salad tonight, whether my husband or my kids, my kids don't eat salad, who am I fooling? Uh, whether Ryan is, <laughs> decides to throw the uh, Caesar dressing onto his salad or not, that's up to him. I can easily give him some of the balsamic dressing that I have whipped up. So we're gonna have chicken and salad. Um, alternatively, if you don't wanna buy a pre-mixed salad, something that I love to do too is just taking some of the prepped veggies that I already have. So I've got some peppers, and this is how I keep them in my fridge. I just clean them all out inside, and then I can chop them up however I like them. I can, I can slice them up and with some cucumber, I've got a cucumber here, and maybe a tomato, something like that. Super simple, throw it all in a bowl, throw some um, salad dressing on there, and I'm a big fan of dill and garlic, so I might chop up some dill and garlic. It literally takes 30 seconds to make, and it's a really fresh, delicious, especially in this kind of beautiful sunny weather, that kind of salad, it's awesome. Um, another thing that I just wanted to share with you, um, a friend of mine had come across this product, and I really, wanted to try it out, so we actually just got them in the mail the other day. They're called uh, Flavor God Seasonings, and they're really, really good. They have no preservatives at all in them. It's literally like this one is called Garlic Lovers, and it has garlic, onions, sea salt, uh, California chili pepper powder, basil leaves, black pepper, coriander powder, parsley flakes, and thyme leaves. So that gives you an idea. We got four of them. We've got the garlic lovers, we've got chipotle, we've got Cajun lovers, and we've got Italian zest. So because these are all just herbs and spices, there's no fillers, there's no sugar, they are completely clean. And so I might just uh, use this and sprinkle it onto my chicken to give it a little extra flavor. Uh, this, the Italian zest might be good in, in a salad, like with the cucumber and pepper and tomato, just to add a little bit more zing to the, to the dressing. Um, it's really simple. You can just sprinkle it on and um, and make you know spice up a simple roasted chicken from the grocery store with just a little bit more flavoring and make it taste really awesome. Um, it's really really not that difficult to stay on point if you try. Grocery stores are fantastic places to hit up if you know where to look and if you know what to find. You know you can get a few pre-made things that really will help you along and help help you stay on track and, uh, and not lose focus. So with that being said, um, I'm gonna have to get my kids fed. They're being awfully quiet right now, so that usually means trouble. But uh, I gotta get them fed and cleaned up and uh, we've gotta head out to our meeting, which is a little bit later tonight. So wish us luck. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, you know, this is a pretty straightforward video, but if you ever have any questions to me about anything that I prepare or anything that I do, please don't hesitate to ask. You can comment below, you can send me a, a voice me or a message on Messenger or you know, a Facebook message, whatever, whatever you feel comfortable doing. You can text me, call me, whatever. Um, if you go over to my fitness page, my phone number's on the, on the page, so you can definitely access that as well if you need to. And uh, I just really wanted to share that even though life is crazy, you can sometimes still go out and grab, grab a quick bite to eat from the grocery store and not have to break the bank and not have to, um, you know, go over, over the top on your health and fitness. So that being said, everybody have a happy Wednesday. I hope it's great for you. It's been a great one for me and I'm looking forward to drawing a line under it tonight and uh, winding down for the rest of the week. So take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and share. Take care, all. Bye.